Well, it's about to get a lot easier for Sedgwick County residents to find a place to vote as Sedgwick County plans to expand in-person voting opportunities. Take Stephanie Manici shares what we need to know before casting our ballots. According to Election Commissioner Laura Rainwater, many polling sites currently have too many registered voters. Some have over 7,000. Um, the target is for us to get to between three and 3,500 registered voters at every polling site. Rainwater says adding up to 30 new polling sites will be cost effective. She says in 2020, they sent advance by mail ballot applications costing over $120,000. When you send out over 300,000 of those applications and less than 50,000 of them comes back, that's 250,000 ballot applications that either the voters prefer to vote in person or they don't vote at all. One voter says he's fine with the decision. He adds mail-in voting should be for the sick or military. That's the only reason we should have mail-in voting. Uh, otherwise, we should have to, you know, get out, get to the polls and, you know, present an ID uh, or, or verify our identity and so that we can vote. Another voter feels this could eliminate votes. It's nice that there are so many more op stations being open, but like that was the first thing that like popped into my head of like, what about all the people that, you know, can't, you know, get out. Rainwater says adding the new polls will save money and reduce long lines, but she does have concerns about staffing. We are going to start working with our school districts and our higher ed institutions. We're doing a lot of community outreach. Stephanie Minichi, Cake News on your side.